The important weapon buff of the most recent patch 1.32 was a mistake. Let's dig in and share what for an impact that has on the upcoming Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, The Frozen Wilds. And I also have other Horizon Zero Dawn info that I wanted to share with you. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and a like would be super appreciated. In the upcoming Horizon Zero Dawn update, the Tear Blast arrows of the Sharp Shot Bow will be adjusted in the Ultra Hard mode. Right now, if you play the game with patch 1.32, you'll be able to tear off the disc launchers of the Thunder Jaw with three tear arrows from a Sharp Shot Bow that has full tear mods in the Ultra Hard mode. Well, in the upcoming patch, you will not be able to do that. In patch 1.32, the base tear of the Sharp Shot Bow went from 50 without any mods to 75 without any mods. But this was an unintentional increase, according to Gorilla Games in a comment under the video where I discussed this buff to the Sharp Shot Bow. I have to admit, it's pretty cool that Gorilla Games commented under one of my videos, and also the first time they did, so that is pretty awesome. Anyway, going back to the Sharp Shot Bow change, I think they will be going back to 50, like what it was before patch 1.32. Meaning that the Tear Blaster will be again the weapon of choice to tear off parts of the enemies. I mean, with a blast from a Tear Blaster, of course, you have to be close to the enemy but it only costs one blast while with the sharp shot bow you can of course stand far away but you need more than one shot to get it off and that will impact your game after the patch comes out but of course it will also play a role during your playthrough of the frozen wilds as the tunnel job will be in the dlc as was already shown in the first trailer for the frozen wilds so by the time the frozen wilds hits this new patch will be out meaning that you will need more arrows to get the disc launchers and of course also tear off parts from the behemoths and stormbirds that will also be in the frozen wilds and of course the tear off parts from the new machines that we know will be in the dlc so yeah we kind of get used to it right now in patch 1.32 but yeah this buff was never the intention according to Gorilla Games. Of course I'm not a game developer but I really find it hard to wrap my head around this like how the heck can stuff like this happen. Maybe they tried it once to balance the tier arrows but they didn't like it and forgot to change it back. Is that how it works? Because I don't think that out of nowhere a tier arrow buff would sneak into a patch. When I will interview Gorilla Games in the foreseeable future this will totally be one of the questions I will be asking. Of course, another question is, when can we expect this patch? When will they change the Tear Blast arrows and nerf it back to what it was before patch 1.32? It's not a huge issue, so I don't think they'll be rushing it out of the door. I mean, then they already probably launched a new patch since patch 1.32 launched on August 21st. And that was a month after patch 1.31. So I think we're looking at a sort of monthly schedule for the patches. So patch 1.32 and patch 1.33 will probably have a gap of a month in between each other as well. So I would not say next week, but the week after that. So the week of September 18th, that's when I think we will get the patch. Of course, can also be next week. The week that I finally expect to hear some details on the Frozen Wilds. After posting this tweet that it's only two months till the Frozen Wilds, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that we only have one trailer. No piece of other info. Okay, the release date uh, came out later, but no showcase of a new weapon, new machine, whatsoever. It has to be time soon. In the meantime, I wanted to share some other Horizon Zero Dawn news, because when the new game plus came out, Gorilla Games added, of course, the new face paint and focus color options that, yes, you can always use, not only in the photo mode, just go to the settings, to the visual tabs, and you will see it right there. Anyway, of course, when you finish the new game plus mode, you would get a face paint and a focus color. And now, thanks to, and I'm totally going to butcher these names, Kiaubris and Yuri died AF on Reddit. Uh, yeah, so that was really bad. Uh, I put a link to the wiki post that they made with all the face paint so you can totally see it for yourself. But what it comes down to is that you get four from completing hard, so new game plus on hard, an extra five for completing new game plus on very hard. And the other four for completing New Game Plus on the Ultra Hard mode. Of course, I would suggest to immediately go for Ultra Hard to get everything at once. But I know that some of you are simply not able to. So it's nice to see what you get from only completing it on Hard or Very Hard. So... Applause for the guys that found that out on Reddit. No, 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 I'm not going to pronounce those names again. Don't worry. So there you have it. A little Horizon Zero Dawn news video before the storm, before the winter is here. Or the frozen wilds, of course, in this case. I can't say it enough. Subscribe to miss nothing regarding the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC. Once the news hits, I will be all over it. So like to support the channel, of course. I will speak to you next time. There will be exciting times coming up. I feel it. I feel it. I mean, 
as the closer we get, the higher the chance that we finally get some info. So until then, thanks a lot for watching. I will speak to you next time and uh, goodbye.